Nah, well, you know, if we, if we, <laughs> I, I don't want to do a, a three-year capital campaign. I want to challenge you to make a, not a, a three-year commitment, but a lifetime commitment. Amen? As a husband, a lifetime commitment you're supposed to make. As a wife, a lifetime commitment you're supposed to make. As a follower of Christ, you're supposed to make a lifetime commitment. I want to make, I want you to make a lifetime commitment to all of that. And as your leader, I also want you to make a lifetime commitment to being a consistent steward of God's finances. So here's the plan. Here's a, just a challenge for the next month. Just a challenge. Every time God provides you with 10 of these, put one aside. Even if you think you don't have that one, God provides. Amen? Amen. Every time God provides you with 10 of these, put one aside. That means if he provides you with 100 of them, how many do you put aside? That means if he provides you with 1,000 of them, how many do you put aside? You guys are good at your math. If we could do that, based on this congregation, based on the careers that I know that are in this congregation, we would generate unheard of financial content for Kingdom Worship. We could start our own after school programs at the new church. We could, we could minister to neighborhood schools. We could transport people to church who have no way of getting here. We could feed the hungry. We could change the core, the, 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 the neighborhood of Wilson, where we'll be. Portage Avenue Church is now too old to walk around the neighborhood. Their average age is 65 to 70. We've got young families, we've got young people, We've got a future of earning potential. We've got an opportunity. Not because of a uh, three-year commitment, but because of a lifetime opportunity. Lifetime commitment. So my challenge for you is to give one for every ten to the opportunities that God is giving us at Heart of Worship. In exchange for your generosity, we want to be as wide open with you to where the money is going. And we will. We'll let you know. Let you know exactly where it's going. And what we're spending. Now is the time for us to take advantage of our potential to gather what God has already distributed and stand amazed at what God has done and will do with our time, talent, and treasure. Amen. Opportunity is knocking. It's not knocking, actually. It's pounding. And just as it was for Ezra, will you join me and take advantage of the opportunity to put our trust in God and cross the desert this next month, this next year, this next decade? Will you? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Thank you for working throughout history. Thank you for working throughout our history. Thank you for the opportunities you are now placing in our path. Thank you for the blessings of, of, of what you have given us, Father God. Now, inspire us to take advantage of those opportunities and to not let them waste in front of us. What are they? Make them clear by your Holy Spirit. And then as we manage our finances to make them happen, provide for us. Where we look at our bank account and go, I can't do that. Will you say, yes you can. Because I am the provider. God our provider. Always give your strength to your people. As Steve Bell sings. Strength to trust. Not just in the opportunities we see. 
but that you will work throughout the history of our church to provide everything that we need to make those opportunities happen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.